There we go. Finally. All right. Uh, welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to uh, the Culture Shock. I am your host, Seth McKendry, and we have a fucked hard with us today. I've known him for a while. Introduce Not yourself. Specialist. Introduce uh, yourself. I'm Cameron. Is that what you wanted? I, uh, a little more pizzazz, but... Pizzazz. You know. <laughs> okay. A monster, man. You ain't getting much pizzazz out of me right now. <laughs> And stop playing fucking League of... Well, not League. F fucking... Is it League of Legends or World of Warcraft? Whatever the fuck are you playing? I'm playing League of Enters right now. Th stop! We're having an interview. I... I it's I not like very... My match. Like, it, it's like not very right professional of you. And you took five time to get the bot in here. Shut up! <laughs> I'm more professional than you right now. Man. We're only a minute in, and it's already a train wreck. A minute in? Uh... <laughs> We're a minute and 14 seconds in, and it's already a fucking train wreck. All right. Yeah. So, uh, last episode, we talked to, or I talked to Gabriel. Yeah. And uh, uninvited. <laughs> we brought up the legend of uh, Scoop Scoop. Uh, would you care to elaborate and explain? Uh, yeah, explain. Explain the legend of Scoop Scoop, how he came about. I don't remember a hundred percent. I just remember it was kind of like a running joke for us for a very, very, very long time. I think it's was it caused from your YouTube channel or was it something else? Yeah, it, we were talking about the early beginnings of my YouTube channel, and ah, then yeah, I I recorded. Like 10 times. <laughs> yeah, you, and you, I we took your Jewish penny away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even Jewish, but <laughs> it's okay. All right. I got. I got to put so, your penny in my bank. <laughs> you know, you got my happen. dirty Jew penny. <laughs> you know, you know, you fucking spit shine it. All right. Yes. So, you, uh, no. you got to find the Walmart. <laughs> That's the prime penny. The Walmart pennies, man. They got all the dirt and grime of the <laughs> the working working man. It's only been two minutes, and we're just talking about Walmart pennies. <laughs> <laughs> you think it's going to get any better than this? What do you mean? <laughs> oh, this is great so far. All right. You think, you think we're going to expand between the Walmart penny? Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> so Walmart let's go superior. back to, let's circle back to talk talking about, um, you were very much involved. You and you, Isaiah and Gabriel, actually, since I started my YouTube channel on June fourth, two thousand sixteen, I rem offhand <laughs> because it's very good on. I know it's on your, uh, your, your. I know it's on your thing, but damn, you actually know that offhand. I, it's yeah, it's because I checked it today. <laughs> <laughs> it's not just something you remember. It's just just random. random it's not like an important them. date. Yes, no, it was. It's when you lost your pennies. Yeah. <laughs> it's before I even had any pennies. And you'll never get uh, them back. All right. So, um, I remember uh, my. I was talking to uh, Isaiah, and it was. It, this was like 2016. So. Very we were a long time ago. All of us were in seventh. I want to say seventh grade, right? Seventh grade. For what? For what? It was like when we did the most shit, you know? Yeah, because yeah, seventh grade was the most shit we did, probably. Yeah, because we were in seventh grade when I started it. I think because didn't we in the mornings we would go to like the fucking lunch tables and just talk shit to each other i think that was every day but i don't think it had to be a specific spot <laughs> yeah like we just fucking travel around oh yeah practically yeah but it would always be the same group of, always be the same group of people yeah 
It was the same. And, and uh, going back into that, how long have I known you? Uh, probably since second or third grade. I mean, we weren't like not hundred percent know each other, but you know, we did go to the same school then. So, if you put like a number of years on it, would you say about like maybe, maybe like eight, nine, maybe even ten years? Around there, yeah, probably. Cause <laughs> that, that long time. Yeah, it's been. I've known you for fucking ever, dude. Oh, wait, were you there when, uh, you remember that one fucking Tristan kid? The kid looked like a skinhead? I remember hearing about Tristan. I've never seen what he actually looked like, though. Because I remember, I was in, like, what, second grade? No, I think I was, I may have been in first grade, dude. Maybe, uh, yeah. Like, I think I went there. Did I go there in second grade? I don't, I, I don't really grade. remember, dude. I don't remember when I... Yeah, because I switched, like, a shit ton of schools, like, during that time. Because, uh, as far as I know, I was in, like, first grade or some shit like that, and I used to hang out with this one kid named Tristan and this one chick. I can't remember her fucking name, but she had, like, red hair or some shit like that. And we I don't remember her name, but I remember seeing her. Like, I was... Uh, back then, I was, like, fucking... I was extremely gullible. Like, I'd... I'd believe anything you'd tell me. <laughs> you still do when you're and, high, so don't worry about it. Well, 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 okay. Uh, that's, that's, we're not going to talk besides about that. Besides the point. <laughs> that's besides the point, okay? <laughs> that's besides the specifics. All right. So I remember uh, I was in first grade, and we, like, me and that kid, we'd go around and we'd start doing dumb shit. Like he, he looked like st to give everybody a uh, kind of a visual representation of what this kid looks like. A white skinhead bald biker. Imagine a very imagine Stevo, but younger, like first grade younger. First grade younger. <laughs> ba basically, that's what he was. Yeah. He was not actually. That is a perfect, ver perfect analogy for him. Yeah, he was basically like, yeah. Stevo. And I also remember uh, this was around the time because I remember I was really into like wrestling at this time, and I didn't have long hair. I remember I had the yeah. fucking. Wasn't it when you constantly shaved your head? No, no, no. It was when I was choking kids out. This ah, was that time. Oh, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Like medium-sized hair. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that hair phases? I, I don't know. <laughs> I What I think is great is how... Like, I specifically remember this time just because. Just because I was choking kids out and I got suspended. <laughs> that, that's one big, yeah, that's kind of yeah. something to remember, you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I remember. Yeah, that's a big, big factor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I would say so. <laughs> yeah, so would I. All right, because I remember I had, like, uh, fuck, I can't remember the teacher's name. Even if I could, I I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to say that particular teacher's name. Oh, yeah. Now I know. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'd, yeah, I'd rather keep that anonymous because I don't want to get sued. You know what I'm saying? Sued. Well, I don't know. I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want the police coming after me because I fucking told this story on a podcast. Uh-huh. The police will come anyways. Yeah, totally. All right. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. I was in a... I was in first grade. And uh, I remember 
it was like 2008, maybe. To give you a rough time frame, it was like 2008. Maybe it maybe might have been 2009. Because I remember uh, I like it was for my birthday that year. I had to go to school. And I remember I always hated going to school on my birthday when I was a kid. I, think I everybody... always hate like I That's always cool. hated it. Oh, my birthday. I shouldn't shouldn't have to deal with this shit. Like I shouldn't I shouldn't have to go to school. But as like as I gotten older, like to high school and you know shit like that, I, I'm, I'm just like <laughs> I, I mean I still hate it, but I'm like, you know what? I you gotta deal with it, man. It's just like any other day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's called torture. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So <coughs> uh anyway uh i was in this may have been 2009 because I, I remember i was really in to uh wrestling at this time i was fucking i was playing uh like the smackdown versus the raw video games i was fucking putting kids in fucking uh sleeper holds because i didn't know that professional that's wrestling part of the game yeah we, yeah well yeah but at this time, I took it super, super seriously because I didn't know that it was choreographed and predetermined. So I didn't know that. I thought it was all, all real. It's all fake. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I didn't know that it was not real. So um, I because I remember I was in, I went to school at that time and uh, it was for my birthday and the teacher for some, the fucking teacher loved me. And here's what she did. She was God, like, God. <laughs> I was a first grade. Come on, bro. I didn't even know what a blowjob was. <laughs> How you doing? You love them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay. Uh, anyway, like she had like this gift box or something like that. Right. And she was like, all right, choose what you want as like a birthday gift or something. And she had like a John Cena action figure. I remember this specifically. I, so I, I I grabbed it. I was like, all right, I want this. They were like, okay, cool. And then I was just a lot like they were just like, okay. And then we just went on with the fucking day. And then I remember I went home. And uh, I needed to get a haircut. Because my parents at that time, I say parents because my mom was still alive. Yeah. This was a year before she kicked the bucket. But uh, they were like, oh, sadly. Yes, sadly. R.I.P. Mama. <laughs> but. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's not supposed to be funny, but. <laughs> But I somehow oh. made I somehow made that funny. <laughs> I don't know sadly, how. Yes. That is sadly, yes, yes, you didn't make that I, funny. I was just R. I. P. Mama. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So uh it was a few days later and my parents were like, Oh, you we have to get you a haircut because your hair is getting too long. I was like, Okay. They're like, What haircut do you want? Uh, and I remember I grabbed the John Cena action figure, and then I was like, "I want this." <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "I want this." They were like, "Okay," and then they sat me down in the chair. We went in the garage. They sat me down in the chair, and they did it. <laughs> they had my grandpa do it. <laughs> Your grandpa, and, and he just fucking <laughs> he just straight cut my hair, dude. And yeah, I was it's not hard to do that kind of stuff. And I was just sitting there holding the fucking action figure. And I was like, my hair is going to look like this. It's going to be awesome. And I think like that style of haircut is like my default go-to whenever I get a haircut. Because it's so easy. Yeah, it's just very simple. And I, I've i basically really looked the same. It. Yeah. I mean, with long like, hair or not, I mean, it's not really big a deal. With long hair, I kind of look... I look like I'm going to steal your keys. <laughs> and with a shaved head, you still look like you're going to steal your I, keys. Yeah! <laughs> like, it, 
I don't see your point there. It just depends on uh, on your perspective. <laughs> Cause uh, anyway, I've known you for like ten years, give or take. Yeah. So, uh, we've kind of gone through some pretty like rough shit, right? Would you say yeah. over the last ten years that we've known each other, we've gone through some fucking, we've done some stupid shit, and we've gone through a lot of dumb shit. Oh, uh, yeah, um, I remember it was the beginning of my YouTube channel, and I was like, oh, yeah, to circle back to that, I was like, yeah. oh, okay, I'm gonna do this. And I remember I had Isaiah as my uh, director, I was like, wasn't he your cameraman or something? Too? Yeah, that's what I meant by director. He was my cameraman, and we he recorded. He was told, "Take my phone and record me do this." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Practically, we... what it was. Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. Like he fucking. He was. I was like, "Hey, you want to do this?" He was like, "No." I was like, do it. He was like, okay. <laughs> it was, I was like, do it. He was like, okay. So he fucking did it. <laughs> and uh, like the one thing I remember the most is we would record little stupid videos. It like, we even recorded a fucking leafy rant that was completely it was oh, oh yeah, you did was, do it. yeah i remember yeah you yeah because <laughs> it was pretty cringe but you know <laughs> <laughs> oh i remember uh <laughs> uh like when we would record the videos it'd be after school right yeah. and it'd be on campus <laughs> yeah and I don't, I don't think you went home for a while, right? Didn't you have to after school or something? Yeah, I didn't go home till like fucking five p.m., dude. Yeah, because didn't they like? Didn't your dad say like he can go home, but they didn't let you and like force you into after school? Yeah, he was like he can go home. They were like no. I was like okay. So yeah, there's the that. Point of it. I was like okay, fuck. So, like, what I did was I just ditched them. Like, I, I, we were supposed to show up at a certain time after school to, like, sign in. Oh, I'll be right back. All Super right. professional. I'm in the middle of recording something. I was going to text you that. I'm sorry. Super professional here on the podcast. Super professional. Fact. I I'm probably gonna try to edit this part out. Probably but should. I, yeah, it was it was only a couple of seconds. Uh huh. Wait, wasn't it? Wasn't it like maybe four seconds? It's a little bit longer than that, but it's not that like, long, really. Okay, how long did you would you say that intermission was? Ten, well, probably twenty or a little bit longer. Not much. It wasn't really that long. Just saying. Would, would say okay. Say if you were listening to this podcast, it would, probably wouldn't be that bad. It wouldn't be that bad. It was. No, no. It would just be like we were uh, switching between topics. Practically, yeah. Okay. So to rebound. What were we talking about? Don't remember. The oh, we other were talking other about than your, other than your YouTube channel, the after school program. Yeah. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, we were talking about that because yeah. they were they kind of like forced me into it. It was super weird, and they were like, "Oh, you have to do this." I was like, "Okay, fine." And what happened was they were like, "Oh." Like their entire thing was you have to sign in after school 
right? So me and Isaiah, like I'd complete, I'd just ditch him, right? Like I was supposed to sign in immediately after school, but I would be creative and like find ways to ditch him. Wouldn't you go hang out with the janitor and like practically hang out with him? Like, okay, here's what I would do. Uh, me and Isaiah, instead of going, me and Isaiah, we'd uh, just like, we just go over to like where they had that railing in that grass field. Uh, you, like you remember those, those buildings we normally hanged out at? Or yeah, yeah, where they yeah, had yeah. that big auditorium. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you went all the way over there. Okay. Yeah, and uh, it had like the blue railing and the grass field and all that. Yeah, that, I don't know that's where that. we first recorded the leafy rant, and it was a one take thing. It wasn't like oh, take. Okay. It wasn't like take one. Let's do this. Oh, you're a piece of shit human being. No, cut that out. Take two. It yeah, it was put that much effort. <laughs> it was not like that. We just like legit. All we did was uh, it was just a, record. It was it. just like <laughs> it was like all right, recording, and then. I just start. It, there was no script, nothing to go off of. It was just I was right there in the moment, and I had to, I had to like go and try to figure the shit out. I had to come up with shit off the top of my head. Yeah, and it's somehow fluid, and yeah, and to somehow make it work and make it fluid and like make it entertaining. But they were anything but that. That entire leafy rant was just me saying, hey, you're a douchebag and you have no or chin. Fuck you. Or fuck you. Yeah, fuck you, dude. You're a douche. You don't have any. You don't have. It <laughs> was like 90% of the time. <laughs> it was just like, fuck you, dude. You're a douche. Uh, you have no chin. Um. All right, uh, yeah, go fuck, go, yeah, go fuck yourself. It, it was, it. it was basically it. And then I, re- from what Gabriel said on the last episode, he said that we recorded a video, uh, by the track, and it was the, it was called the Legend of Scoot Scoot. Yeah, and I, I, I can't remember why we did it or what we were thinking but do you remember any of this i remember some of it yeah the can you tell me what you remember you practically would just say scoot scoot constantly that's what it practically went <laughs> down to after <laughs> that's what you and recorded c- it's practically just wanted to say scoot scoot don't know yeah. what don't know what caused it we have no idea what started scoot scoot but we just fucking did it i feel like that's the entire basis of our entire friendship we're just like uh it's completely half-assed there's no planning no nothing we're just like all right cool what's up dude like you know, who said you needed to be pl- corrected and planned and all that? It, it's been it's been like that for the last ten years. It's yeah. just like, oh, hey, what's we, up? We need, it's been a long time. No organization at all. We're just like, oh, hey, how you doing? It's been a while. What's up, man? I think that's how everybody is. <laughs> but practically, ours is just a shit fest. Yeah, we're just like, you know what? Go fuck yourself. Go fuck yourself. Hey, how you I doing, buddy? It's probably like 10 to 20 people. And like, it's probably like 10 to 20 people in a fucking monkey pen. Yeah, basically. Because, uh, what I remember what we were doing was <laughs> we, uh, I think, I can't remember who was in the group. What it you was you. Like in our in our middle school, Gabriel, Jackson, 
there was other people, but they weren't Tov- as prominent. Wait. So it was mainly you, me, Gabriel, and Jackson, right? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Because I remember we used to always hang out at lunch. Yeah, then other people showed up, but then they wouldn't stay there for long. Wait, was Tovar like a permanent member? Not really, because he would kind of like zone out and just kind of walk around. He was practically he, he, like, he was always butthurt. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. I kind of feel bad for him if we if he listens to these two episodes because we've just shit on him. <laughs> the The first episode we were talking to me and Gabriel were talking about the one time he went to Halloween Horror Nights. Oh my god, yes, that was with funny him. as fuck. Yeah, we were talking about that. <laughs> and then um, this episode, we were just like, he just faded in and out. So, like, legit, how that first interview with me and uh, me and Gabriel came about was I was scrolling through my DMs on Instagram, and I was like, I need to record the first episode of this podcast. Uh, let's see. Who haven't I talked to in a while? I scrolled all the way down. <laughs> Lo and behold. <laughs> yeah, I scrolled all the way down. Yeah, you got a fish for your content, right? <laughs> <laughs> Lo and behold, here's Gabriel. I'm like, oh, I haven't talked to that motherfucker in a very long time. And now Clicked on it. Second, and then now here comes the second one. Victim and, number two who never uses Instagram. <laughs> yeah, I I clicked on it and I was like, hey, do you want to do this? He was like, sure. I was just planning on laying down, but sure. This would give me a better use of my time. Let me hop on my laptop. <laughs> and then the fucking here we are. And uh, this is just like this episode. We this the reason this episode exists is because of the first episode because he was talking about it he was like there needs to gabriel said it he was like there needs to be an episode with you and uh you and cameron and you just talk shit and then there needs to be an episode with you me and cameron in it ah so when are you supposed to do this (laughs) so that might be episode three Ah. But I also actually that might hey, be episode hey, you, four. You, you gotta milk the cow hard, huh? <laughs> yeah, I I I I gotta fucking I gotta squeeze them titties. You know what I'm saying? He's I I got I, I gotta I gotta stroke them tits. I gotta squeeze them. I gotta I gotta milk that cow. <laughs> With all it's, the force in the world, it's my golden goose. I gotta I gotta give it the the. The nice squeezes and let it all come out. You know what I'm saying? I gotta get it all out. Yeah, you can't can't give him a titty twister either. Yeah, because that that ruined the whole cow. Yeah. Well, that, actually, don't cows have? Fuck the conversation. Don't cows <laughs> transition very well. <laughs> this is exactly what the second, the first episode was. This that's how they. That's, that's that's how the transitions were. They were just like, fuck whatever we're talking about. Let's talk about this now. Don't cows have like six udders or something like that? <laughs> or, but I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up. <laughs> I feel like it's four, but you, know, you never know, man. Because I Maybe have a, a interview scheduled with uh, one of my brothers. Because what I was doing really with cows. <laughs> uh, oh, we oh yeah, we were talking about cows. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right. um, let, me, let me find out how many how many udders cows have. <laughs> oh, I believe. Many udders do cows have? Does a cow have? It, okay, they ha- yeah, you were right. They have four udders. Uh huh. But an animal has six teeth. <laughs> six? What? What's the difference? <laughs> oh, oh, okay. They meant like every other animal. Female pigs may have six teeth, but numerous only have four. <laughs> I mean, so is my dog, but. 
why do cows only have four nipples? Because they only have four fucking teats. <laughs> they don't get. They what? don't deserve more teats. That that the fact that we spent at least three minutes talking about cows and udders makes me wonder what our friendship has come to. Cow tits. Yeah, we're just sitting around, you know, bullshitting and talking about cow tits. And start another league of int. So, uh, yeah, this interview came about very half-assed. I was like, yo, you want to do this? You, you were like, yeah. So, coming up, we have, like, interview-wise, we need to schedule that interview with you and Gabriel. Because it'd be the two of you and then me. And I also have a interview with one of my brothers coming up tomorrow. So I, I'm i going to be... Uh, my All my days so far have come to uh, me recording YouTube videos. And then me texting people trying to schedule interviews. And then me recording a podcast. And then... That's about it. Because today on my YouTube channel, I finished. Very schedule. Huh? Very busy schedule, you see? Very, very busy schedule. I don't even have time to sleep or fucking masturbate. Yeah, I like even sleep in the first place. Who sleeps now? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Sleep's so old. Sleep's so fucking overrated. I think I get like two hours of sleep. Actually, very healthy. Get, dude, my sleep schedule now, now. Okay, let's transition over to sleep, S- dude. S- <laughs> my my sleep schedule has been so fucked. It's super weird because, like, I it, it was super weird. Like, I I'd, I'd stay up all throughout the day, right? I'd take a nap at five, and then I'd not wake up till like three o'clock in the morning. And then I'd be up from 3 o'clock until, like, 7. And then I'd go to sleep. And that's how that would go. That was until last night. Or, uh, actually, a few nights ago. When my sleep schedule kind of got on track. Where I got up at, like, 6 o'clock in the morning. Which is Uh, weird. Kind of got on track. Because think about this. It's super weird because we have the week off of school right now. Or I do. What? Fuck you. (laughs) I have to deal with this gang shit, bro. Yeah, I have the I have the week off of school right now. What what do you even do? Like, like my school practically does actually nothing. So boring. Because it's president's week, bro. Fuck you. I got one day off. Why not? We have the whole week. <laughs> yeah, who jerked you off, silly? What? What the fuck did you just say? Who jerked you off, silly, man? <laughs> so lucky, man. Uh, with my amp dexterous using both hands, just yeah, yeah. One hand cupping the balls, just. Am I gotta, rocket strapping somebody? Gotta, gotta, gotta maximize pleasure, man. You're fucking spitting on my hand, just. <laughs> I mean, people do. Uh, oh uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, no. People do all the time, man. Yeah, I know, but I, I, yeah, I just can't. I weird, can't do man. that, man. I can't do that, man. I tried it once, and it was. I couldn't get a grip on it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's why you tell the chick to do it, right? Yeah, I was like, I can't get a grip on it. That's why I fucking switched over to my other hand because it felt like somebody else. <laughs> felt like somebody else. <laughs> that like, it's supposed to be a good or bad thing. Because <laughs> I'm predominantly right handed. And most people are. You, you know what I'm saying? And then, uh, so. Once you do it with your left hand, it feels super weird, and you have to like n- go knuckles up, and you got to be like, ugh, ugh, ugh. you got to make animal noises, you got to grunt, da- 
You got to scrunch down in a certain position uh, to get it. I don't think we do the same thing, guys. You, <laughs> you got to like make eye contact with the wall, and then you got to start fronting and being like, "Eh, eh." You have sex with the dog. You you gotta you gotta sound like you're uh, <laughs> you gotta sound like you're a prehistoric caveman going eh eh. I know we have a I know we have an evolved eh. that far, but, and, then, <laughs> and then just shoot your load and sound like a caveman and go ah, you know. <laughs> I don't think cavemans are supposed to die every time they blow a load. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, thirty five minutes in podcast gold. Welcome to the wild ride, everyone. It can only get worse from here. All right. You sure it's not bad enough? Because <laughs> we've already talked about, what, how long we've known each other, my YouTube channel, uh, jerking off, uh, uh, cow udders, <laughs> and uh, animal teats. Yeah, but I say not cow udders, teat. No, we yeah we talked about cow letters, like how many they yeah. have. Yeah, and you gotta get fancy with it. You gotta say teat. <laughs> yeah, you gotta get fancy with it. You gotta say animal teat. Well, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, I've I've been very busy lately, dude. I fucking my day starts as I wake up. I uh, well, how make it. Your day starts when you wake up. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You fucking wise ass. All right. I wake up. I make a few videos for my YouTube channel, which takes because I try to hit an hour per video. Man, you don't put that much effort in it. Shut up. No. I, I, have you been checking them, dude? Fuck every I video. I don't have every, watch YouTube ninety percent of the time. <laughs> every video I've made within the last six months has been an hour long. And what do you do exactly? In your Play video now? games. I've been playing the Uncharted franchise. I just completed the Nathan Drake collection today. Tomorrow, I'm going to start Uncharted 4. Because I have... PC, huh? Or you don't have a PC yet. I have a laptop. That's how I'm recording this. Ah, uh, you mean a busted-ass $20 laptop. Yep. No, Gaming. 600. I have a $600 laptop that fucking burned a hole in my pocket on Black Friday. Yeah, you probably should have. Uh, you should probably should download League of Tilt. No? <laughs> League of. Oh, oh blatant product placement. Oh. Nah, man. You gotta get something <laughs> too. We are not sponsored by League of Tilt. Anyway, uh, going back. To this half-assed conversation, um, how fuck it's been a very long time since. How long has it been since we've talked? Out, like know. legitimately. Don't really know. I don't really use Instagram. I don't just kind of do my own thing, really. <sighs> so, would you say since like middle school? I mean, probably since I moved, I guess. Oh, yeah, because, like, you, yeah, you moved, didn't you? Yeah, I got forced at gunpoint, practically. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, I heard about that. And, um, there, you remember that kid, Jacob? Yeah, it's kind of hard not to. The kid I Superman punched on you the mean, last day of school? You mean yeah. the kid his, uh, pen stabbed in his leg? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um. You know, it's really super weird. Hmm. On the first day of ninth grade, I thought he was you. Because like he did changed. He, did, he, did he actually return to school? Yeah. What? Why would you go back to that school when you got shit on earlier? What the fuck? No, it was that was at bon that was at that was in eighth grade when I punched him in the back of the head. Hmm. Yeah. It was. It was. It was on the last day of school in eighth grade. I like huh. ran up to him and I fucking like I cocked my fist and everything and I just Superman punched him in the back of the head. Yeah, I remember that. And now that I look back at it, the Superman punch wasn't even that good of a punch. It was just I contacted with his head and I just like fucking all the 
all the pressure in my body just went to that punch and then I just collapsed. <laughs> like it, it was super weird. It like I clearly did not know what I was doing. And the only reason I remember this is because of that day it was put all over Snapchat and like Twitter and all that. It like everybody knew about it. And for some reason know. word spread very quickly in that school. It was like you remember Sorry, when like was, like you remember when a rumor started back then? Everybody knew about it within like 15 minutes. I mean, that's how it is for every school, though, you know? What? Yeah, that is true. All right. So, I remember I cocked this kid in the back of the head. And he had, like, long hair at the time or something like that, right? Yeah. And then he returned. He went to uh, the San Jacinto school. And he was like, oh... I'm here, and I, he looked, it was super weird, because I thought it was you, I called him Cameron, like, six times, (laughs) yeah, (laughs) I called him Cameron, like, six times, and fucking, uh, he just went along with it, he didn't even, he didn't even know what to say, so I, the motherfucker was tricking me, like, I was like, oh, all right, yeah, because you're probably stoned out of your fucking mind. So apparently, apparently now, uh, yeah, that's perfect. Super professional. Anyway, yeah. Uh, apparently, this motherfucker's going into the Marine Corps or something like that. Something stupid. Well, uh, anyway, I think the last time, like, I had like a not a it wasn't even like a video chat or something like that. We were on Instagram. And, like, you called me, and you were on, like, your longboard or skateboard or whatever the fuck. Just skateboard, man. Do you remember this? Like, you were you were going home, and you were like, what's up, motherfucker? I was like, oh, hey, dude. And you were just, like, we just talked about random bullshit for, like, it was until you went home. And then as, as soon as you walked up to your front door, you hung up. I was like, okay. And then (laughs) I just fucking went on with my day. I mean, that's how it normally is, you know? And you know what I'm surprised about? Huh? We've somehow been recording for 42 minutes. Hmm. Sounds about right. Somehow, we've gone 43 minutes into a conversation about nonsense. Like, we had no structured points, no nothing. Yeah, because you're a very professional setup here, you know? Yeah, it took me, like, four tries to get the goddamn bot to start working. Which was some bullshit. What's You still barely got the work. Well, you can shut the fuck up, okay? Because <laughs> I still got it to work. It's still recording. So, boom, goes the fucking dynamite. For now. <laughs> For now. You just straight killed my thunder with that, dude. You fucking... It, you fucking cockmuncher. <laughs> Facts. You just fucking slurping Aww. it up. Just, you know, you fucking... Yeah, you gotta be professional with your craft, man. Just hell yeah, man. You gotta some t- sometimes you even gotta like put on a double workload and just fucking take maybe two, three at a time. Maybe you know, maybe even a whole package of Franks. You never know, man. Hey, man that's <laughs> your money. And like uh, when I mean Franks, I'm talking about those uh those big fuckers. The um like you know the them uh Frank hot dogs. That you see at the store that are like fucking like seven inches long, and they're like yeah, they're That's huge. Yeah, they're, yeah. yeah. They're, they're they're like they're really good sausages, but like they're fucking huge, dude. They're like seven inches. 
and they're like 15 bucks for a actually no i think they're like seven for a uh for a six pack or something like that of course we're talking about sausages right now um, <laughs> sausages <laughs> of course we're talking about sausages <laughs> we it totally it just, sounds like right the way this conversation has just bounced between cow udders, fucking uh, YouTube, sausages, fucking masturbation is just, you know, it's so strange. Like those. It's just so, so, so non-structured and so, just so strange. <laughs> uh-huh. I don't see how we've gotten 45 minutes out of this. But I digress. Drive, but it works. Yeah, it works one way or another. So, uh, last episode. Fuck. All right. Last episode. Me and Gabriel. He said that apparently doing my podcast was very fun because we just bullshitted. For an hour and 37 minutes. And all we did, we just talked about fucking horror movies. And then he made fun of, he made fun of the way I say horror. He said it sounds like horror. I mean, at least you know your your specialty. Well, uh, I'd say my specialty is blowing people's heads off, but. It depends uh, on. <laughs> it depends on uh, your man. perspective of the situation. No, it just depends on the man. Yeah, it depends on. Yeah, exactly. <sighs> All right, I remember there was just one time. Uh, you remember that other kid named Seth? A little bit, yeah. Oh, you know it's super fucking weird. Um, There's three times in my life I've met other kids with my name. I would hope so. Your name is pretty common. Just say it's super weird because uh, normally I never meet anybody with my name, I but I, I just never have. Hey, not only the the tests I know are gay. Oh fuck you. <laughs> Coming, coming for me right on my own podcast, and I, I had the nerve, I had the nerve to have you as a guest, and you fucking go for my throat. All right, okay. No, I'm not I, even I, joking. Though I can literally send you a post of the set I know from my school. This kid. Oh god, what is that? Is that that one Dark Emperor kid or yes, whatever the fuck yeah. is yep, yep, his yep, name yep. is? Oh, he got an Asian oh. dad. It seems. Oh, God. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Uh, yeah, I wasn't expecting that one, huh? I, no, I was not. I didn't expect you to go for my throat on my own podcast. <sighs> yeah, like so, I went for your throat. Yeah. This is going to be a, a huge hit. Anyway, uh-huh. we're going to really yeah. drive the numbers up. Yeah, so, you hit your ego. <laughs> Yeah, my ego has been shattered and dead ever since I was eight years old. But besides that point, uh, I've only met three people with my name, and it's super weird. I really don't even know how you only met three people, though. Because it is a small town, but, you know. Because, like, everybody I've ever met has had a different name than me. Like, if my name was Aaron or, like... Hey, hey, Aaron. Yeah, A A Ron. <laughs> like what's a what's a common name? What what's a extremely common name? I don't fucking know. A lot of names are right. Jose. Like say oh, <laughs> I'm not Mexican, I'm white. <laughs> uh-huh. Let's go with Mark. All right. Let- Mark or Josh? One of the two. Probably Josh <laughs> more. Okay, Josh. What's funny is all the Joshes I know are Mexican. <laughs> Same, actually. 
yeah, it's like this one tall kid named Josh. He's pretty cool. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, I've only met three people in my life with my name. One of them is a skinny uh, fucking Mexican kid. The other two are white kids. One of them's a fat white kid. And I don't even, like, I've never even actually, actually met the guy. You've seen him. The only thing I know about him is he's in my witch out class. <laughs> yeah, he's white and he's in my witch out class. Because I remember there was this one time uh, I was in, because I had six period witch up at the time. But I had clearance to go to the woodshop on my my fifth period from my fifth period teacher. He was like, sure, go ahead, go. I was like, okay. So I went, and I was working on my project. And uh, my teacher, he said, uh, he said, Seth. And then me and this other kid both looked at the teacher, and he just started fucking dying. He just started laughing his ass off. He he just like he started laughing uncontrollably. I was like, "What? What's so funny?" He was like, "You both looked at me like a deer in headlights." I was like, "Oh," and then I just like kept walking. And then uh, the other kid that I've met with my name, the other white kid, he had a really really shitty comb over, and. He he was like You're extreme one to speak with no hair. Huh? You're one to speak with no hair. <laughs> have you seen me lately, motherfucker? I have long hair. For now. F fuck off. It's not like I'm losing the shit, alright? Are you sure? Yes, I am sure. You are malting. What what the fuck does that what what's that mean? <laughs> Explain. <laughs> so are you just gonna fucking laugh and not tell me what? <sighs> <laughs> All right. Ah, oh, you don't know what molding is. And then the other thing is, uh, the other kid that I met named Seth got me laid off from, uh, because I was working. What? Yeah, laid off the crack house, man. Uh, fuck off. All right. Just because I got a weird shaped head doesn't mean I'm a crack baby. Fuck off. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> I mean, you definitely are one. <sighs> fuck off. Anyway. Um, what happens was I was working at my dad's job. And I was like, I worked there with him for like three months. And then my dad's former boss, or shop foreman at the time, he came in and he wouldn't do anything. Like, his son came in, right? And then, you know, I'd hang out with him. And then uh, he'd be like, okay, cool, yeah, whatever. But he got his driver's license, and he's like a year apart from me. And I think he's like 16 or something like that, right? And uh, he had his driver's license. And he was like, oh, his dad thought, oh, he can do whatever he wants, right? Because he has his driver's license. So he fucking had him drive customers' cars into the shop, which is a big no-no. Like from their home or just like out in the parking lot? Like from the parking lot into into the shop. And that is a big no no because he's not a like legally he's not a legal employee, so he can't do that. And because of that, one the fucking human resources person at uh, my dad's job saw that happen and it was like, Okay, uh you can't bring your kids to the shop anymore because this kid just fucked it over for everybody. So what did he that, do? Did he crash a car or something? No, it's because he was driving a customer's car. 
Oh, it's just and that? You yeah. can't drive a customer's car because you're not a legal employee. Damn. Like, Dude, you're not on the crazy. payroll. So, yeah. I mean, 90% of the people get paid on our table anyways. Yeah. And so, <laughs> so it doesn't he... Really so yeah, he uh, he got me laid off. I haven't worked. The only thing I've ever done besides that for that company was I did like sign spinning. It was pretty cool, you know. I get a hundred bucks a day. It was, it was pretty decent pay. Yeah, it's not bad. Especially, especially comes in handy during the holidays, man. Like Christmas, it saved my ass. And I made everybody have a good Christmas, too. Uh-huh, in many ways. I bought my dad a bunch of alcohol. I bought my brother a Stone Cold t-shirt. It was, yeah. Yeah. It was a, it was a good Christmas. Yeah, you get him all hammered so you don't have to deal with him. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fucking great. Anyway, uh... We've been talking now for 56 minutes and 22 seconds. Yeah, and I'm running out of water. <laughs> <laughs> and we've just been talking about random bullshit. I think that's practically what every podcast becomes to, though. Unless you have like some, unless it's like a straight up interview, interview kind of thing. Because as you can tell, with this podcast, I'm like doing interviews, right? But I'm trying to have these interviews uh, come. Up. <laughs> I'm trying to have these interviews uh, flow as like a. Uh, they're trying to be like a conversation. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm not trying mm-hmm. to have like structured questions, being like, "Okay, we're gonna talk about this, 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 and this." You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna be like, "Ha, oh, blah, blah, blah." How would you feel when this happened, huh? And what was your reaction? And how would you change it? And if you went back in time, who would you fuck? You know, is like my hand. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You know what I mean? I'm still. I'm just trying to have this be just a conversation between shit. One of my best friends I've known for like ten years. Give yeah, or take. And once you get more people hitting the here at once, it's going to be more of a clusterfuck. Yeah. Because I'm going to get uh, fucking what's his name. We're going to end up doing that podcast with all the boys. That's going to be, be a quick clusterfuck. You, you, need yeah. to organize, you need to organize that somehow, though. Cause... Yeah, because... With the amount of people that seem to be in that group chat, it looked like you have like maybe. Let me look at this again. And because this I'm is not like, sure. If, I'm not sure if anybody, everybody's invited in this or not. Now nah, there's no Brendan in here because didn't you want him on or some shit? Because wasn't he a part of the um? Did, did you want Brendan in this group chat? No, no, I'll drag his ass in here. Because <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I yeah sure. All right, victim uh, another victim. Here you go. Because there there's go. one, you, there's one, two, you know. three, four, five, six, seven, eight, including me. That's nine. So, because I was just trying to have everybody that was on the uh, knockoff podcast. I think I joined like that once, and it's like ended. Cause yeah, they because they message me and I always have my Discord notifications off because they, they lost their Discord notification privileges when they spanned me over 300 times. In like <laughs> three so so you, you're you saying that you have to have privileges now, huh? You don't even have the privilege to speak to me because I'm too lazy to turn to fix my uh, do not disturb. <laughs> You fucking, you're just hibernating and you're going to go die in your hole. You're just like, ah, fuck the world. I mean, my brain cells are already dead enough. Don't think uh, he can do much more to them. No, I'm pretty sure this podcast really fucked you up. 
Nah, there's not much to fuck up here anymore. Anyway, uh, you remember that one time me, you, and Gabriel went to go see Deadpool? Yeah. Was... Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> me and Gabriel yeah, talked. The only time you wore shorts. Wait, I wore shorts? Yeah. I what? Your cargo shorts. <laughs> What? If you made fun of you. The fucking wait, are you talking about the uh They're like khaki cargo shorts? No, they weren't khakis. They were uh like some fucking Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. The uh yeah. fu- like it took me forever to find them. Yeah, yeah. They made fun yeah, of yeah, you. Yeah, 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 like... yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well you said I can sneak a candy in here, fuck you guys. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the entire reason I wore the shorts. They were like some fucking, they were like some really bad military, uh, like, like military colored black cargo shorts. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. They were black. Yeah, they were. Yeah, you remember? They were like a black and grayish military type thing. Yeah, no, I thought they were lighter color, but yeah, when you say black and gray, yeah, that does remember. Make it seem a little bit better. Because I, re- I remember I came out with these on, and then you guys started making fun of me. I was like, fuck you guys. I can sneak candy in here. Yeah. Because you guys were wearing not tight-ass pants, but like pants with like pockets where you could notice shit. But meanwhile, I had pockets. I had pockets on top of pockets. I was like, I'm good, you know? Yeah, and now I wear sweatpants, so they can't tell if it's my phone or if it's that fat stack of cash. <laughs> you can tell it. You can't tell if it's your phone, a fat stack of cash, or it's your, yeah, or it's your dick. Nah, that's on the other side. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Uh, there was this one. <laughs> there was this one kid. He walked in to uh to this one store. He was wearing some uh some sweatpants, right? And then he's for some reason he stole meat. Hmm? It, yeah, yeah, it was super weird. He stole like this big ass sausage that was like seventeen inches. It was, it was, it was a big old fucking sausage, right? And then he put it in his pants. <laughs> oh, okay. And then the kid, the fucking te- not the teacher, the uh, fucking security guard, was like, "What's that in your pants?" And then, you know what the fucking kid had the nerve to say? Hmm. He was like, it's all natural, bro. (laughs) And then he just fucking walked out of the store with a fucking 17-inch sausage in his pants. (laughs) Oh, my. He went from Nick Guns, man. It went from being stone cold to warm as hell. (laughs) Ew. (laughs) And you don't know if... Which smelt worse, his dick or the sausage? Yeah, we to this day we don't know. <laughs> Probably the sausage, though. But you know. Probably the sausage. But anyway, uh, yeah, I tried when I was trying to uh, create the files and stuff for the other podcast. Fuck, we've already hit an hour. And yeah, I was making the files for the other podcast. I was like, okay, here's how we're gonna do this. I was like, okay, what's the difference between these files? And Gabriel told me he was like, oh, here's a single file, here's a multi file. Here's what you're gonna need. Here's what you don't gonna need. Use this, use that. I was like, okay, if you want to do this, you gotta use this to um, edit the shit in Audacity. I was like, okay, so I did it, and I was like, okay. So I got this done, and hopefully this turns out well. And I know (laughs) that this podcast is probably the second worst, not second worst. Yeah, this is the second podcast. So I think the bar is set to a pretty medium. Pretty medium. Yeah, I wouldn't say hi because I know you guys. So yeah, you're the only one with us. 
Yeah, I mean, I mean, not so much nowadays, but uh huh. Yeah, there's he lost there's... his flyer. <laughs> <laughs> he died in the fire. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, don't get high on your own supply, man. Don't do drugs, kids. They'll fuck you up for life. Cocaine for breakfast. <laughs> Who the fuck are you, Lindsay Lohan? No, you were. I never did co oh 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 that brings up a whole another story. Oh my god. You remember when I used to snort shit in the eighth grade? <laughs> I I did. Like I'd snort everything from fucking fun dip to crushed up cookies. <laughs> yeah, I don't think you cared if it was there or not at that point. It is it, it, say what? I don't think you cared if it was a dare or not either. No, because I I would just do it because I was I was like you know it'd be funny because I was just the main point was I was just trying to make you guys laugh. Because I remember the worst well, the worst thing I did by far at that point because the entire reason I was doing it is because I wanted to make you guys laugh. But the worst thing I did was you had some sour skittles or something like that and then you put the sour shit in my hand ah oh, yes you you and... remember you remember this don't you yes and i fucking snorted that shit i took it all up my nose and then i immediately felt the pain <laughs> i yeah. immediately realized i just fucked up yes you did I was like, oh, it, like, I snorted it, and then, at that moment, you could put that one meme where he, you know that meme where he's like, oh, at this moment, he knew he fucked up. Is like, you could do that for this moment in time. Because I, I snorted it, and immediately, immediately, I felt the pain. Of having the sh the, that sh uh, that shower shit, sour shit <laughs> in my nose, and I legitimately thought I was gonna have a nosebleed. I it hurt so bad. And uh, you remember that one time uh, we went to go see Deadpool. And I think it was Gabe's parents and his brothers, like, in front of us. Right? Wasn't it Gabe's parents and his brothers in front of us? And then it was me, you, and Gabe I don't remember behind them. Entirely. I think it was like that, though. Because I remember, like, they were in front of us or something. I think they were telling us to shut up or something like that. Yeah, it was something stupid. It was some stupid layout. And I remember we had fun dip. <laughs> and uh, it's because I was just trying to make Gabriel laugh. I, well, not entirely just him. I was just trying to make you laugh, too. I was just trying to make you two idiots. You know, I was just trying to get a chuckle out of you. So I took the fun dip. And then I snorted it. In front of his parents and everybody. And luckily, his parents did not notice. And I took that shit all up in my nose. And I was like, oh, that was a bad idea. And I felt the pain for the rest of the movie. Deadpool is a two-hour two, uh, two hour movie, I think. I, I think it's about a two-hour movie. And I felt the pain for those two hours. It fucking hurt so bad. It was it, it was a terrible experience. Yeah, Deadpool. Actually, no, Deadpool was a one hour and forty eight minute movie. Yeah, it was a good movie though. I think we already watched it, but we just did it because I think his little brothers wanted to do it or something. Because it it was Gabriel's birthday. Oh yeah, it was his birthday. Yeah. Yeah, and this is when he lived in my neighborhood. Oh yeah, then he went to Drugland. 
and yeah, and then he fucking moved. And like, uh, it it was, it was actually pretty cool having him live in the neighborhood, because I'd go over to his house all the time, and we'd just like chill, and do dumb shit. And, uh. Structure of interview. Yes, I am a terrible podcaster, but we will get behind this. So, uh, I remember we did the whole like Deadpool thing. Then after that, I can't remember what we did, but I remember me, you, and Gabriel. We'd always end up doing some stupid shit that would get us in trouble. Actually. Yep. Would we get in trouble, trouble, or would we like? Sometimes. Remember the pudding like, cups? Oh no! Wait, I think I know what you're talking about. Yeah, we had to clean them all up. I, I, I think I know what you're talking about. But refresh my memory and tell the story. Uh, it's practically. If I think I remember who brought them, but. Somebody had a pudding cups and we just throw it on a wall. Then they had like security camera or some shit and they forced us to clean it. Cause weren't we in like the fucking cafeteria or something like that? Yeah, and I think they randomly approached us. And like, like someone had pudding cups and we just fucking chucked them out the wall. And yeah, then it was like uh, this bathroom that nobody used. Even the teachers wouldn't even use it. Even though it's supposed to be a teacher bathroom. And we just like chuck them at the wall, and then uh, the like a security bro. You remember that one security guard that like took his job way too seriously? Yeah, it was kind of annoying, but you know. And he was like, he was like, you have to obey the rules. You have to do this. I was like, bro, you take your job way too seriously. It's not like you're. You're a school like security guard. Dollars an hour. I mean, they don't even really do anything at all. They just fucking stand around. Yeah, that's practically what their job is. Like, legit, their job is to stand around and stop fights. That's it. Even though they didn't really do a good job at that either. And that reminds me. Fights at the middle school and at the high school. Nobody can have a fight in like private. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, because everybody's just gonna bring out their phone. Like, what I mean by have a pride, have have a pride, have a, have a fight in private is no one can just have a fight and like it be like a you know a quiet thing. No. No one can just, you know, beat the shit out of each other, and no one cares. Yeah, ways. Yeah. Whenever there was a fight, immediately, you can always tell, even at the high school, whenever there's a fight, you can there's tell like, immediately. Like a crowd of people around it, yeah. Because as soon as the fight starts, within five minutes, there's a crowd of people, and then security guards start running. Yeah, like even though they really didn't start running like ninety percent of the time. Yeah, and oh, that reminds me. There was this one time at the high school. Uh, me and me and a buddy of mine, uh, Melvin. I don't think you know him. No, but, not. Uh, it was me, Melvin, and I think Isaiah, and him. <laughs> Uh, we were going because we'd always hang out at this one spot near uh, the ASB room and like the bathrooms. And like we'd just hang out there until the line died down, like for lunch. <laughs> and then we'd uh, we'd go get lunch once the once it like died down, right? So we went to get lunch this one day, and like we came out of the cafeteria or wherever the fuck they were serving lunch from, wherever you call that. The mess hall, or just no, like legit. You'd go in, grab your food, enter your number, and then go out. It's just a lunchroom, I believe. I mean, I hope yeah, there's nothing fancy about it. Some school shitty yeah. lunch. They were like, "Remember your numbers." They're they're always like that, man. 
And like to even, I, I think my number was one two five eight zero or something like that. I think I remember I my, even... I think I remember my number from like, el- elementary school, but not really anymore. Actually, I think it was two five eight zero because I I remember I, I mean boop boop boop. boop. It was very simple. Out. And anyway, uh, me and Melvin and fucking Isaiah are walking out of this, uh, the lunchroom, whatever the fuck you call it, right? We're walking out, and then we see, <laughs> we see this chick. Uh, they're fighting, right? And this chick, her head just smack hits the fucking concrete. Like she didn't even hit the dirt. Her head hit straight concrete, bro. And you heard the shit too. You heard the you know, you heard the smack. And me and uh, me and Melvin, we looked at it and we were like, God damn. Like and we saw that right before there was a whole huge crowd. And we managed to get away before the crowd, like, you know, gathered around it. But it was fucking hilarious because this bitch grabbed her by her hair and made this other bitch slip and her head, boom, <laughs> smacked the concrete. And you heard her head smack the fucking concrete. Like, it smacked the concrete and it fucking echoed, dude. Her head hit hard. Like, I'm assuming that she... This bitch has brain damage now. Because she hit the concrete so fucking hard. She's got brain damage. So, uh, yeah. There was there was that. And I've noticed that you gotta have a token black... You gotta have a token minority friend. Because everybody does at this point. Like, not even at this point for like a civil rights movement. Just just to like, it you know, happens. You like just not I wouldn't say give I I I think I'm gonna be fucked no matter what way I say this. But just to like, you know, uh just not see skin color, man, and just, you know have a friend pretty much. Just have a buddy, you know what I'm saying? Luckily, I've been uh, legit. I have. I don't even have one white friend. Actually, no, I do, I and she's I a do. girl. I don't think I really do either. There's not too many. I think it's like like one if, other white kid at my school. Like if I'm talking about friends, I uh, like go to school with and talk to on a daily basis. There's like one white kid. And the rest of them were either Mexican or black. And that ratio is very, very imbalanced. There's two black kids. And there's like four Mexican kids. (laughs) And and all of them are fucking comedic geniuses besides Isaiah. Feels bad. (laughs) Feels bad, man. Like Isaiah's just there. <laughs> Do you just listen to Spotify or nah? Huh? Do you just sit there and listen to Spotify or nah? Uh, I don't know, man. I mean, like, kind of, he kind of just do his own thing. Oh, but he he just fucking stands there and lets all the uh, all the chaos like happen around him. He just sits, he just fucking stands there and just goes. I I know you can't see me, but I know the yeah. listeners can't see me. But th- this is basically what he does. He just sits there and goes. Like he just sits there and go, just leans back and goes. Bro. Just assesses his situation. He's like, all right. Yeah. He's like a grizzled old veteran. That's what he does. 
See, I got hair, motherfucker. So. <laughs> uh, so, it's officially been an hour and 20 minutes. How do you feel? Yeah. And, Not much different than I was before. I know I'm just really thirsty. So, uh, how do you feel about being on my podcast? Uh, fucking. Forced at gunpoint, everybody run. For, forced at gunpoint, everybody <laughs> run. Oh, <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you. Gotta scare people away, man. Fucking. God damn it. <laughs> you, I might just scrap this episode all together. <laughs> I win. <laughs> You know what? You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna post this episode on Spotify just to spite you. <laughs> Facts. I'm gonna do it just to make sure you know that I did I posted that episode just so you know, hey, I I didn't delete it. I posted the shit because I wanted to spite you purposely. Good. You're like, you know, fuck you, man. No, that's I feel you. Like, Sounds exactly I, like you. I know, because I just said it. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like fun. that podcast between uh, me, Hayden, and like all the knockoff guys is just going to be an hour or something. Like, say I an mean, hour. If, and... if you think you're going to invite nine people and it be organized at all, you're smoking something, bro. <laughs> all right so uh since my what was told during what's his name the first episode with gabriel was we were talking about oh yeah we should do a crossover between knockoff and my podcast. And that could kind of like re uh, breathe life into the knockoff podcast because they don't do shit. Yeah. From what I was get, told. I mean, like the whole discord server died because nobody really gives a shit anymore. What I was told uh, after these motherfuckers recorded a hour and a half podcast with me posted the shit right they posted the shit and then they deleted it one day later Pause. i listened to it once and the motherfuckers posted it just to delete it feels bad yeah you you i was like thanks guys apparently i'm a death sentence for everybody's podcast yeah so you swore solemnly swore and then created your own huh I was like, you know what? Fuck you guys. Uh, I was like, you know what? Fuck you, man. I'm, uh, I'm going to make my own. And I did. And it's officially been an hour and 23 minutes. Oh, fuck. Brightness. See? It's been an hour and 23 minutes. Even though I... Fuck, what's this that even... Does that look like 23? Oh, fuck. What does that look like to you? What? Look at those numbers. What, Where? What do you see? Where? I don't know what, what I'm supposed to be looking. Oh, I I don't see your screen. Uh, 23? Looks like 23, man. It's like a big old 23. Oh, god damn it. I can't even... All right. I got the saw lighting going on over here. Do anyway. you have like one of those bunk beds where that has like the little computer desk thing under it? Because that's what it looks like from the. I think it's your right side. It looks like a little wooden piece. No, I just have the bed, dude. Then what's that thing like right to your right? If you look in your camera or. Yeah, that. Oh, it's just that... your background. Oh, it's like your wallpaper or some shit. No, this is a. Uh... Yeah, like this. That... Right next Star to me Wars. is uh my fucking this is my dresser, bro. Oh, okay. That all yeah, my Yeah, uh, you know you know those bunk beds that have like the 
computer area in it. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, that's what I thought you had. Nope, I no longer have a bunk bed. Dang. I did. I did for a number of years. Yeah. Which only had one bed in it. It was really weird having What's a bunk bed, bed with only one bed. Yeah, that is one weird bunk bed, just saying. It was super strange. I was like, can I just have a normal bed, please? They were like, no. And then they finally decided, you know what? We'll give you this one. I was like, okay. And it's even broken, too. On the bottom, the springs are shot. I was like, okay, cool. At least I got something to sleep on. And, yeah, there's a spring shot on one of the sides. So it, like, pops up. It's super fucking weird. Super, super great, it seems. Yeah. It like it sleeps pretty well though. It's, yeah, it's right here. I'm I'm touching it. It's like it's the spring shot. So I uh That's how the old bed I had was. Now I'm like an actually good one. But now it's kind of so, fucked up because somebody so, kinda laid on the edge too long and you know, it's kinda like broken down on the bottom, it's kinda got flung up in there and yeah. yeah. All so I've tried everything to get that spring back down, but I've I've given up. I'm like, you know what, fuck it. Anyway, uh it's been an hour twenty six minutes and thirty seconds. I think I'm gonna stop the episode here. So thank you for being here, man. No problem, man. I mean Forced at gunpoint, remember guys? Forced at gunpoint. No, just a disclaimer. He's just fucking around. He, there, I, I do not own a gun. So, And these are COVID times. So this has been recorded over Discord. So uh, how this came about was I texted him and I was like, hey, you want to do this? No, no, he no, was no. like, group chat <laughs> no, oh yeah oh yeah huh it was the group chat i was like all right when's everybody free to do this you're like i'm free whenever i was like okay cool and then here we are yeah one hour 27 minutes and 37 seconds later yeah i'm sure it took me a long time to make dinner because i had to deal with some other dude making spaghetti all right, so thank you for joining me. Uh, thank you, everybody, for listening, if you even did. If you didn't, cool. Thanks. Hope you come back. And, uh, well, that's that. I'll see you on the next episode. Hopefully, hopefully it's more structured next time. Yeah, I like that will happen. Shut up. Not even more structured. Hopefully, I, uh, I'm i going to have... Oh, next episode, I'm going to have a good guest. I'm going to have a music artist. So it's going to be pretty cool. Hopefully, uh, Cruz Kale. He's he's my brother. Yeah, he's, yeah, yeah, he, he's, he's yeah. a rapper. I'm just trying to promote what? his stuff. All right. Okay. So thank you for, uh, thank you for joining me. Problem, Hope man. you enjoyed. For some random bullshit like normal, as you see. Spread the news. Yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, I'll see you in the next episode.